Welcome back to Jersey Matters. New Jersey is getting $2 million to make urban spaces greener, and we're already seeing the results. Jeff Tittle, executive director of the Sierra Club, explains. Hi, thanks for joining us. I, I wanted to talk to you about this money that you got from the federal government. It sounds like New Jersey, especially the urban areas, is going to get a lot greener. Yes, well, we worked to get it. We didn't get it. It's going to the state and through the federal government. You know, New Jersey, as you've been seeing with the census data coming out, shows that urban areas are growing. But, you know, we don't have enough open space and parks and recreation facilities for people in the urban places in New Jersey. And, you know, there's an old line from a Cat Stevens song, as we build our cities higher and higher, where will the children play? And I think that's why we need to have a federal investment in open space in New Jersey, because it's it's really critical for quality of life um, for our families and our children. It's important for recreational impacts and as well as for just health reasons, taking a walk, families being together and bonding. And we've seen that become even more important, you know, during COVID, how important open space and parks are for the uh, for families in our state. And so this money will go a long way to help make our cities greener and help provide recreational opportunities for our families. I might have gone with Joni Mitchell. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot, but to, to each his own. I, I didn't want to take any credit away from you. You you corrected me in the beginning and said, we worked for this. Yeah. I know that's important to you. How did you get this? Well, working with the congressional delegation and the Biden administration, um, you know, that's been part of it. We've been pushing for years, you know, to get more money from both state and federal government for parks and urban areas. And so, uh, you know, for us, um, these are, you know, it's important because look, it's not just an equity issue, it's a health issue, it's an environmental issue. Um, urban areas historically have been shortchanged. When you look at where the money goes on open space and parks, 75% of it go to rural and suburban areas, yet, you know, more than half the population of Jersey live in urban areas. And so they, they've been getting shortchanged. So it's, it's critical. But it's also important now because of um, dealing with something with climate impacts called the uh, heat island effect. As we green our cities and plant trees, it'll help lower temperatures. And you know, people don't realize like in the summer day, it could be 10 degrees hotter in a place like Jersey City or Camden than compared to someplace you know, further out in the, the more rural suburban areas. And so having parks are critical for recreation, for health, for, you know, for people's well-being, but it's also important when it comes to the environment as well. Let's get specific about how much money you're getting exactly and where are we going to see this? Uh, where are we going to see things get greener? Well, we're going to see more. So it's not just this, you know, um, this proposal that came through um, the, um, you know, this round is going to be future rounds. But right now it's going to a place like Camden and we've seen good things there. It's going into Atlantic City. It's going and we're, we're hoping to get more money into places like Jersey City and Patterson as well. Uh, through these programs. So, uh, you know, there's some wonderful things happening in our urban areas. Jersey City is building a greenway along the uh, Morris Canal, uh, connecting parkland and, uh, and putting in bike paths as well as in expanding parks. And, you know, we're seeing, you know, there's a proposal that's not funded to, sit, to correct a, to, to put a bike path between Essex and Hudson County. Uh, so there's a lot of things that are out there that, uh, that this money can go for. Your cat agrees with you. He jumped up right in back of you during the shot, just a nod. And then he's he's good. He's staring right at the camera. Yeah. Uh, how much money, though, is it this first round? And how much money are you expecting in total? Well, well, total, we're not sure yet. But $2 million is in the first round. But there's going to be at least three or four times that coming into the state over the next year, a couple of years. So this first round, where specifically are you spending it in the first round? Well, that's going, parts going into Camden was a big part of that. Where, where in Camden? What's going to happen in Camden? It's for, it's for uh, uh, fixing parks and for creating more um, recreation facilities. Oh, so it's not one specific project. It's just it, 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 it'll go yeah. the city. And, and where else will this money be spent? Uh, it'll be going into Trenton. One of the important places it's going to is an area where they've been doing a lot of restoration along Assunpink. Creek and down near downtown. And so it's going to go into help build a recreation facility there. But what's really been nice is that the state of New Jersey took a, a stream that was buried under basically parking lots and roads and have actually restored it and opened up the stream so you can now see it. And now they're building and putting in a recreation facility near it. So right along the banks of it. So it'll, it'll become a very nice facility. 
for the people in Trenton and also for some of the state workers. Well, that's great. And congratulations to you. I know this wouldn't have happened uh, without you. And so it's wonderful. And we'd love to talk again when you get more money so we can hear sure. about the projects. Okay. Well, there's a lot more out there, as I was saying, about places like Patterson and Jersey City. They're trying to get funding for it as well. Great. Well, when that happens, we'll talk to you again. Thanks again. Jeff Tittle, Executive Director of the Sierra Club. Next on Jersey Matters. A Toms River family took a tragic event and turned it into an opportunity to create a positive and necessary change in their community. More on that story next.